I have nothing but love for you and I want yeah. to always avoid this. You see it all over the park. If yeah. you stay here long enough, you'll become one like them as well. But no I'm interested problem. in uh, yeah. the books that came before because, say, if I was to consider Islam as a religion that I would adopt, yeah. I'm interested in the historicity of the religion. Okay. Not just people pulling a Bible verse and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand that if you were required as an article of faith, yeah. is it the six pillars of Islam? One of them is, is it six pillars? Yeah. And the pillars of Islam? Of Islam, yeah. No, it's yeah. five. Okay, it's five. One of them is to believe in the books that came before. Yeah. So if I was required to believe in the books that came before, yeah. the Torah, the Zabur, and the Injil, yeah. I would then say, well, can you tell me, can you show me the Islamic Injil? that you accept as the Injil and the exam Torah that you accept as the Torah because these were books that were in existence prior to the corruption that you claim. Yeah. So tell, tell me how you understand that. Okay, let me give you basically, this is what it is. The books, Injil and Torah, yeah. we believe as Muslims, we have to believe that holy, divinely revealed books from Allah, right. from God. Okay, so you believe they were delivered? Yes. Right. But those books were there, Prophet. It was there, Prophet Moses' time. Yes. And it was there, Prophet Jesus' time. Right. So the book now Christians have is called Bible, and yes. the Bible, yes. the one they have, it was written later, after the crucifixion and the resurrection of yes. Jesus, yes. about 40 years. The first one was Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew was written first. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So the Gospel of Matthew was written after 40 years later yeah. when Jesus left and he ascended to the heavens. Right, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but the book Allah approved, which is in Jin, can yeah. never be the uh, Bible. Do you know why? why? Many reasons. Okay, the big one, the big main oh, reason. The, I'll just give you two reasons. Okay, yeah. One verse in Quran, chapter 5, mm. verse 47. Yeah. Allah used the word Injil, mm. the name Injil. Yeah. And Injil is a singular. Okay. It's not plural. Plural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So Allah said that book mm. is sent down. Mm. Allah sent down, which means the book came from from above. Right. From to, Allah. To Jesus. From God to, to Jesus. God. And what happened with that transmission then? L let this me, is, let yeah, me finish. Go on, go on. So that book, the author of Injil mm -hmm. is Allah. Oh, so you, you, what you believe is yes. that God gave Jesus a book. A book. And that book, the author of that book right. is Allah. Okay, what was the message of that book? The message of that book was exactly the same as Quran, Torah, all those books were, were spread in one message. Okay, and yeah. that message is to worship God alone. Right. The, the, the problem I would have maybe in understanding that is yeah. that the Jews at the time of Jesus, yeah. they believed in one God already. That wasn't the issue. They were yes. hypocrites. They were hypocrites. Yeah, but they by twisting in, the words. Yeah, but they, they never... They never altered, they never never changed their worship of one God. Yeah. So for the Messiah, who is the anointed one, yeah. to bring them a message they already knew, yeah. the Jews' expectation of who the Messiah was, yeah. was never that he would just come to confirm what they already were in possession yes. of, yeah. it was to bring something different. So this yeah. is what I struggle with, and perhaps the hardest thing for me to understand is, yeah. if what you say is true, yeah and there were people who were the witnesses of Jesus, yeah. which I think we both agree they were witnesses, yeah. then they would have left us writings, yeah. not just of the Injil, yeah. but of their community, the people accepted the Injil. But at the time of Muhammad, who's 610, it's about 610, yeah. the Bibles that we had from the Codexes, Sinaiticus, Vaticanus, to the Vulgate Bible. The Bible in possession of the Christians was 300 years already old, canonized Bible. So if, just bear with me, I'll get, I'll close, yeah. close this. Okay. If the Bible was corrupt before the revelation to Muhammad in the cave, yeah. I would expect to see in the Quran 
do not believe in the books that came before that are in the possession of the Christians and the Jews because they are corrupt and not worth listening to. But we don't have that in the Quran if they were corrupt. What I'm trying to say, I'll bring it out. Yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Okay, so we have corrupt books that you're required to believe in the name of the books, but the only versions are corrupt. In the Quran, there are, I won't bore you with all the, the different surahs, yeah. where it says, ask the people of the book. They're in possession of the book. The people of the, unless you, anyone who doesn't, uh, actually, I will I, get, I know that verse. Okay, I'll, I'll get this that. So, so I know the verses. Answer, yeah, how, how do you answer a questioning person? Yeah. You believe in books. You have yeah. no, and I'm not, not disparaging you, you have yeah. no, no, evidence of the books that you claim did exist yeah right and you're saying you must believe in them i, I find that a difficult question to okay swear. i'll please. make it easier for you yeah please do many christians came to here and yeah. quoted that verse that yeah. verse is in chapter 10 verse 94. okay what is the, the one the, chapter 10 verse 94 yeah where allah is asking saying to prophet muhammad sallam, if you are in doubtful yeah. about this revelation which is the quran yeah. Yeah. Allah said, go ask the people before you, the yeah. people of the book. Yeah. So the context of this verse... Oh, yeah. So if you're yeah. any doubt yeah, yeah, about yeah, that yeah. which has been revealed uh, I, I will, to you, answer, yeah. then ask those it's who have been reading 10, the scriptures 94. before you, reading yeah. and scriptures yeah. in yeah. existence. Yes. Yeah. So let me answer this point. Yeah. So first of all, we need to find out the definition of the people of the book. Good point, yeah. Who were the then people when the you book? come to cross who yeah. are the people of the book once you know you get to know that point yeah. then you would understand tell me who they are so let me explain to you now yeah. so when allah is talking about mentioning the people of the book who are they the christians it's not just non-muslims back in the days before prophet muhammad mm. among and the people of the book mm. among before amongst them before Prophet Muhammad were Muslims, some of them, some of them, the, some of the people of the book. Were Muslims? Yes, were Muslims. So when Allah is saying the people of the book, he's not just referring, the people of the book is not just referring to Jews or Christians, not, just not all of them, not just two of them. Even Muslims are included there. Right. Can you so let me give you one verse. Explain how that works. So yeah, so let me give you verse. The yeah. context of this verse. In order you to understand this, the context of this verse, yeah. chapter ten, verse ninety-four. Yeah. In order you to understand, as many Christians, they misread the Quran. They misquote the Quran okay. by just cherry picking up one verse of the Quran, mm -hmm. and they're not reading the rest of the Quran. Yeah. Okay. So if I give you now, in chapter. Yeah. Chapter 28, yeah. verse 52 mm. to verse 54. Yeah. Allah is telling us the people of the book amongst them mm. were Muslims before the Does Prophet. Does it say that? Yes, Could exactly. you show me? Could you yeah. show me which? And um, can you go to Quran? I haven't chapter, got, I haven't got Let me show you. Yeah, yeah. I can show yeah. you. Yeah. Quran, okay. chapter 28, right. verse 52 to, to 54. And it says there's Muslims amongst the people yes, of the book. Yes, before the Quran. Because you know what? The thing that I, I again, I'm struggling to understand. Can you show him, brother? The meaning is here, let me give you. Right. So the Quran is claiming that the people of the book yes. within their communities were Muslim. Yes. Okay, can I can I respond to that? Yes. Okay, so the people of the book specifically are Jews and Christians. We're talking about the Torah and the Injil. Not just Jews Different and Christians. Well, but they identified themselves as Jews and Christians. This is my point. Historically, you had two groups of people. You had the Jews, then you had the Christians, and then you had the Muslims. Okay, yes. we're in agreement. And from what I understand is, yeah. okay, the the that's the best way to, 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 to break this down. The, the books of the Jews yeah. were never in dispute. The Jews had their own set of sacred scriptures. And they've never ever um, give any, any reference to the fact that there were Muslims who were part of their community, who observed the old law, observed Jewish law. I've just finished, I'll do the Christian side okay. of it as well. And likewise, say, if we break down, this is quite an important point. Yeah. So, in Christianity, there was a man called Jesus Christ. He had followers. His followers 
were the witnesses of the things he said and he did. Jesus died, he ascended into heaven, whatever, he was no longer on this planet, and the Christians who called the church were the ones who went out with no Bibles. Yeah. They had no Bibles, they went to the known world bringing the gospel message. Then historically the gospel message was written down in fragmentary form, and then it was canonized around 300 into the Bibles that we have today. Okay. Now my point to you, my, my, my Muslim brother here, is that if we accept there were Jews, if we accept there were Christians, and they both hold to the sets of scriptures today, to the ones that I accept, your position of saying, well, I agree there was a Torah, and actually says Torah by name, which is the yeah. first five books, yes. and you agree with the Injil, and when you mention about there aren't more than one gospel, there is only one gospel, but it's the gospel according to Matthew, according to Mark, according to Luke. They're not different gospels, but these are the variants of different got gospel understandings. So what I would want if I was to become an, a Muslim, yeah. if I wanted to have consistency, yeah. I would say to you, yeah. why would Allah ask me to believe in a set of scriptures that at the same time you claim would be corrupted at the time he gave you the command to believe in them? And I would need to see some verses that showed me that because if I was to tell you, yeah. believe in this, yeah. this is the truth, yeah. but at the same time it was corrupt, yeah. there's a contradiction in that. That's what I'm saying. Let me I'm tell saying. you. Yeah. Allah already clearly, He yeah. told us the book of Torah and Injil. Mm. They corrupted, they twisted, they concealed the truth. It, it says that. In All, the everything. They concealed the truth. They hid and they edited, they corrupted, and those books, now we agree. First of all, I told you yeah. the, the definition of the people of the book. Yeah. We agreed according to Quran, according to Islam, mm. the definition of the people of the book, not just Jews and Christians. Yeah. yeah. I gave you yeah. the verse. Yeah, yeah, you gave me the verse from your own sources, yeah, no, because but not from the sources of the Christians and the Jews, no, who don't hold to what no, you no, believe. No, no, before you was asking me, yeah. Allah talked about the people of the book. Mm. And you said the people of the book are Jews and Christians. Yeah. And according to Islam, I was proving because you was using... Yeah, according to Islam. You was using an evidence. Yeah. You was using the Quran as an evidence to support your arguments, your point, yes? Oh, I see what you're saying. You're yes. saying at the same time as I'm using your source, yes. there is another source. Yes, that another give source you which, gives you, which gives you the clarification and the definition of the people of the book. According to Islam. Yes, according to Islam. And I give you chapter 28, verse 52 to 54. Yeah. And again, chapter 3, sure. verse 110. Right. The only problem... And 114, for sure, 14 I can well. understand as on Islam, you've given me extra clarification to these verses that I've, I've read out. Yeah. However, according to the so people now, of the book, can yeah. I just say that? Okay. They, they don't say anything remotely according to what you're saying. And these are the people within whom the possession of those books was within their community. Okay. So much as you make that claim, yeah. it was rejected on zero evidence from the people who were in possession of the books. Because I don't think you can change the books from the community of people. The two go together, if that Let, makes sense. Okay, so I will answer your question, Hello. which is, why would Allah say us to believe those books mm. whilst yeah. we know it's corrupted? Yeah, that's yes, it. that's my point. Okay, the answer is here. Allah clearly, in many occasions in the Quran, He told us those books, the Jews and Christians, concealed the truth. Does it say it in the yes, Quran? Yes, in the Quran. I can give you chapter 5, mm. verse 13 to 15. So you're saying that those books he told you to believe in that were in existence at the time had the truth concealed in them? Yes. But why would he ask you to believe in them? No. Let me tell That's you one thing. Let me understand. tell you one thing. If you are to write a book, mm. your book. Yeah, I've written a book. Let's say you wrote a book. Yeah. And someone else came there and tried to edit it, your book and remove some of your words. Mm. But still the book remains of, belongs to who? Who's the author still? Okay, yeah, I can understand. Who's the I, author I still? No, I'm just giving yeah, an yeah, example. Go on, say that again. I'm, I'm if you saying. are to write a book. Well, I've written a book, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, let's the book. say you wrote a book. Yeah. And someone else took your book, mm. edited and corrupted. But still the book belongs to who's the author of the book? You. I would be the author. But people would say what? Yeah. People would say what? This book was edited and corrupted. Yeah. Yeah. But the original text of this book 
is not all accurate. And that's why I want but who's the to believe it. But okay, that's why I ask okay who's the author? No, who's the author of the book still? Still me. No, does yeah. that change your, your the book is uh, does that change the validity of your book? No, but it doesn't change the validity okay. of the argument. Why would I ask you? Say I'd written a book okay. and I had a corrupt copy of it here. Okay. Okay. And I said to you, believe in the book. But this is the book we're talking critical about. Critical thinking again. Critical yeah, thinking. I want to hear critical thinking. Did Allah say believe those books generally? He gave the names no, to he did, no, This wait, is the important bit. No, no. Torah, the important Torah bit is... is the five no, the important the bit is... Yeah. If you are to write a book, yeah. and I edited that book, and I came to this person and I said, you yeah. know what? This book was edited and corrupted, but the author is you. That person would believe... I, 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 let me see if I understand. Let me break yeah. this down. You tell me if I've got you right. Yeah. You're saying at some time yeah. there was in existence amongst the Jews and the Christians yeah. uncorrupt Injil and Torah. Yes. However, at the time of Muhammad, yes. they had become corrupt. Yes, Allah was the reason... Okay, can I just finish okay. this? So, finish. so if there were uncorrupt copies of the scriptures of the Jews yes. and the scriptures of the Christians, yes. why is there no evidence? The evidence is in the Bible. Okay, why is there no evidence of the uncorrupt ones? No, the evidence, the uncorrupt one, because the reason we don't have those books now, the uncorrupt ones, the reason is Allah promised to look after the Quran, but mm. the Torah and Injil, yeah. Allah never promised to look after them. And he ent Allah entrusted right. the people of the book to look after those books. Yeah. In yeah. chapter yeah. 5, Think in chapter it. 5, yeah. verse 44. Right, okay. But do you know what the problem is? Okay, now let me... Okay, okay. I'll, I'll be very, very quick. Okay. Because I've always lent towards the... The holy books of a community of people. So for me, the New Testament books are the books of the New Testament church. So when I pick up a New Testament and I look at the, the verses in the New Testament, I also look at the earliest understanding of the people who actually wrote these verses down and I try and understand how they understood their own works. Yeah. Likewise with the Jews, if I have a copy of the Torah, yeah. there are other copies of the community of people who use this holy book that buttress with those. So even if you were correct about the Torah and the Injil be, co being corrupt at a very early age, we should also see writings of the community of people yeah. who use these books that affirm what you're saying. So there are two There are two tests. First of all, I need to see uncorrupt versions of this book for you to show me where the corruption is, and also writings of the people who use them that would back what you say it is. Okay. But what we have is silence in history, and that concerns... No, 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 wait, don't worry. So let, let, me, let me give you, yeah, even from the Bible, I can you give take you... as long as you want. Yeah, I can give you from the Bible and I can give you from the Quran. From the Bible, let me give you an example. Yeah. Paul himself, Paul himself said, all scriptures is God's breath. That's the Old Testament. No, in New Testament. No, because he's talking past tense, because the New Testament wasn't in existence. The no, time Paul, Paul wrote those words, the New Testament now, wasn't in existence. Now, when he uses scripture, he's talking about Old Testament. Be careful. No. I have got evidence where your scholars, Christian scholars are saying, they're the book, so they're let me not. give you, let me give you, okay. Well, there are people who believe in scripture alone, I don't so believe do you in see now, alone. You see now, you are proving my point, which is Christians edited and corrupted in the, in the Bible, in June. You know what, you are proving my point. How, how so? Because now you are proving, you said, those other Christians... The verse is in there, so I'm yeah, not yeah, 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 that. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But Paul himself is saying all the scriptures, all the scriptures, which means the Bible, he's talking about the Bible. He's and, not talking about the New Testament. Wait, wait, let me finish. According to the Christ, Christian scholars, yeah. they said the book of Acts was written yeah. after the Gospel of Matthew. Okay. Not me saying that. Right. Also, Luke. The so, Gospel so of you're Luke. you saying at the time... Paul said those words. Yes. The entirety of the gospel yes, of Matthew because, was in existence. Because when, did, when did Paul write those? When was Paul? Paul, writing? basically, they say in around 70s AD. 70? 70, 70 AD. Not the fall of Jerusalem. No, that was way before yeah, that. Yeah, that, according to way, way before Christian because, scholars. Because Paul knew the apostles. According so to Christian be, scholars. It must be okay. around the, AD 30, AD 33, AD 40. Okay, whatever. 50, no, they're saying 40. The, the, latest one, the latest one was written yeah. AD 40. The 40 latest. years. The latest, which is Matthew. The first gospel which was written yeah. was the gospel of Matthew. 
Right. So Paul here said here, and the Gospel of Matthew was there before the, bo the book of Acts. And Paul here said all the scriptures. In writing? Yes, all the scriptures. You're the only Muslim I've met who I can show you. actually brought the date of Matthew I can show and Mark you. to yeah, I can show you. Yes, I can show you. No, I can show you according see, I would to your agree scholars. With them. I would agree with them because it's okay. impossible. And I'll tell you the reason okay. why, it's in, why it's impossible. Uh -huh. Because the church... Yeah. Uh, who, who generated these scriptures. Yes. It doesn't even claim that they're that old. Because for them to be, first of all, they, they, the, the scriptures, the, the Christian scriptures, were, were oral traditions, okay. way before they were written down. Oh, there yeah. was a living gospel. So for the, for the oral tradition to become a written tradition within, un, within under 10 years from Jesus' death, yeah. that's what Paul was alluding to. Historically, it can't actually be true. Okay, that's what your scholars are saying, not, not me. Scholars, not no, you can't touch us. Yeah, okay. no, that's oh, your scholars. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, do you believe the book of Acts came before the Gospel of Matthew? According to you, forget about those scholars. Historically, no, I, I, okay, I, I don't there's think, no evidence, anyway. I believe yeah. the content of the. Um, the Gospel of Matthew yeah. predates the content of Acts. However, the record recording of those things, I'm not sure on the dates, but, but we know okay. that Jesus was dead. Okay. Jesus had died before Paul wrote Acts. Yes? And the Gospel of Matthew is all about Jesus' life. Who came first? The, bo the book of Acts or Matthew? The Gospel of Matthew? Who came first? Who Matthew was written first? first. Thank you. Can I just say so, Mark okay. is first, not Matthew? Okay, wait. This is disputed. The early church no, always believed some, uh, Matthew. No, disag disagreement. Okay. Disagreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now my point is, yeah. now you agreed the Gospel of Matthew and Luke, even Mark, let's say, yeah. as, as he said. But it wasn't scripture. Okay, let, let me tell you. No, it was scripture. scripture. No, no, scripture means it was written down. No, it was written down. That's what I'm saying. So can I just clarify this? Yeah. You're saying it the was Gospel down. of Matthew yes. in its entirety was written yes. down around AD 40. Yes. Can you shut up, please? Oh, 30, 30 or 40? I disagree. I around disagree. where? What, where? Mark, Mark was first, around 60 when? to 70. The early Christians 60. would have... Would 60 have, to 70. The early church would Okay, there's Matthew. no evidence. Ma Matthew no. and Luke was 80 to 90, and John See, was 90 to 80. 80? 80, more, 80, more my friend here. 80 John, years. John. After 80 years, uh, the crucifixion, after the no, resurrection. No. It, it says that Jesus, alayhi salam, they say, died in about 30 AD. Okay, so when no. we say 60 to 70, we're talking it's about, about 20 how many to 30 years, years after. 30 years. years. 30 years after. Yeah. Okay, and okay. some scholars, I, I've seen some scholars right. saying yeah. the other way around. Let's go, let's he could be correct. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. evidence yeah. anyways. Okay. okay, Paul here said all the scriptures, mm. the context of this verse, he said all the scriptures is God's breath, breath, including the book of Acts, the Corinthians, and all of those books. Can I, I really got okay, to dive in. I really got to dive in. I've got to dive in on this one. Okay. When you make the claim yeah. that when Paul says all of scripture is God breathed, yeah. that you're actually including his writings in those other books. Yeah. Those books had to come after he said the words. It's always the spoken word first, first and then the record. Okay. So you can't have Okay, now my question. This is where it's okay, it's I understand. Incoherent. Okay, I understand. It. I understand that one. But I'm quite, I'm asking one thing now. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe all the verses of the Bible is God's breath? No. You don't believe? Uh, let me can I clarify this? Here? Oh, right. okay. Right. I believe that Jesus Christ had followed. Just bear with me. I'm okay. trying to break it yeah, down no systematically. No problem. I believe okay. that Jesus Christ yeah. had followers, some of whom he called by name. They were called the apostles. Yeah. I believe that those followers spent time with Jesus and saw the miracles he performed and heard the words that he said, yeah. as they would with all followers of their, their prophet or their leader, whatever. Okay. And then at some point in history, Jesus Christ was no longer here on earth. Uh -huh. Now, those apostles, the earliest witnesses to the things Jesus said and did, they went out to spread the gospel word with no scriptures. No scriptures whatsoever, because there were no scriptures in existence. Uh -huh. They went out, and I, I, can, I can show you, pre-Nicaea, they were at the shores of Britain, they were in Turkey, they were in India, and none of them had modern day Bibles. None of them were going around giving tracts of Bibles and things. They went out and preached the gospel. 
but it was only later to be read within the churches that fragments of this oral tradition were recorded only to be read in the church, not for people to just say, hey, give me these, I'll make out what it's, what it's going to be said. So when I want to know the truest understanding of the scriptures, I go to the community of people who recorded them after the oral tradition and see what their consensus was on the essential doctrines and I hold to them. That's kind of my position. But going back to just what our debate was about, was that if you believe the, there was a Torah and an Injil, yeah. but you also believe that at the time of Muhammad, at the time of the revelation, that those books were corrupt. And they concealed the truth. Okay, yeah. right, okay. They concealed the truth. Can yes. we just examine that again? Because yeah. I, I think I've got that. You tell me if this is right. It's Surah 275 and Surah 279. They're the only ones I think that reference what you're saying. There's a lot and it of them. Says, yeah. There's do, a lot of them. Okay, do you, do you? Yeah, 75 is one of them, 275, okay. 279. Right. And also, in, in, if you go to chapter, um, chapter 5, Verse 13 to 15, okay. verse 19. So let's say there are lots, there, 17, there are lots of references. Verse 41, 42. Right. And he's making what statement again? Essentially, what is the punchline of what's being no, said? It's, it's saying. Does it say they're are corrupted? You a Trinitarian? Are you a Trinitarian? I am a Trinitarian. Thank yes. you. Basically, in chapter 5, verse 72, 72, 73, Allah, in the, Allah already clearly said, Jesus, son of Mary, Yes. himself said in Allah is telling us narrative speech. Yeah. Thank you. Shukran. Yeah. Let me drink. Do you have me a drink? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Look, you have Sorry, I'm you drinking. needed that. You needed yeah, that. I'm You're drinking. Sorry. Can I, can I just say, look, yeah, I'm enjoying finish. the spirit yeah. that we're having this conversation yeah. with as well. Because we're not bouncing around, no. but we're trying to focus, but there's this yes. respect there. Thank you. So here, Allah clearly told us anyone in chapter chapter 5 verse 72 to 73 Allah said to us anyone who believes Trinity, Trinity God to be three in one or anyone who worships Jesus Allah is telling us he will never never ne ever go to heaven but he will make to hell. But, but so, so what you're saying is, not only is Allah saying to you, believe in these scriptures that came before, he's also telling you that those scriptures that came and before, this, can I just finish, okay. have been corrupted in some manner, covered yes, and, they could and also the, the content, truth. the Trinitarian content, is yes. something you should flee from. So yes. can, we just, can we just stop the line now? Yes. So what we have, when was the revelation to Muhammad in the cave, AD? From the age, what, 670? Basically, between um, 68 about. Okay, I when think. we around the there, earliest I'm not sure. copies of the Bible of the Christians, and we look at the earliest of Sinaiticus or Vaticanus, 320, 340, something like that, okay. you can clearly see yeah. that it's uh, there are variations in text and things yeah. like that. However, <laughs> 300 years prior to Muhammad's revelation, yeah. The books of the Christians were in their possession. They hadn't canonized them, meaning they hadn't decided canonically which were the books they were going to accept as inspired yeah. by that. Right. So, what my point to you is yeah. that have you heard of the Vulgate version of the Bible? The, yeah. the Vulgate became the standard Christian Bible. 380, 400. Standard. We're not talking about Septuagint and lots and lots of different copies. This was the this was the Bible in possession of the Christians at the time. And Vulgate yeah. means it was written in the language most people can understand, the Vulgar. So it was written in Latin. It wasn't written in, in Hebrew yeah. or any of these kind of languages. So what I'm still trying to understand is much as I, I can see you pointed to the sources that back you up. Yes. It doesn't cut it, it for me, it's incoherent to say believe in these books that came before you can't share with and i'm not disparaging you okay you can't share with me anything of the content of the books yeah you can't share me anything about the people who use the books that might have left references that that uh, let's say a christian group and a jewish group that would would also confirm what you're saying yeah. and yet you're required to believe in them yeah. and for me that if you were to show me very clearly where Allah explicitly says in the Quran, do not believe in the books of the Christians or the Jews because they're corrupt, short of that, 
I would still struggle based. I, I haven't even begun to unpack the other verses that would say. But have you yeah. heard of War, is it Waraka bin Nawfal? Yeah, Waraka, Waraka bin Nawfal. I want to pronounce that properly. How do yeah, you say War, it? Waraka. Waraka. Waraka bin Nawfal. Waraka. He's been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been Norfolk. Right. Yeah. So here in Bukhari 113, she took him to Waraka, who was a Christian convert, who used to read the gospel in Arabic. Yeah. So there was a gospel in Arabic at the time of Waraka, which would be about 600, 6, 670. Can I just finish? And oh, then you can have as okay. long as you want. Okay. Then Waraka would write the gospel in Hebrew as much as Allah wished him to. Waraka used to write the Arabic writing and used to write of the gospels in Arabic as much as Allah wished. So we have evidence that the person who confirmed to Muhammad that the angel Jibreel had passed the message to him actually had physical scriptures called the called the Gospels, obviously not the Torah because that was in the possession of, wait, wait, of, I'll, I'll yeah, answer. of the no, I will answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, answer. So, so how can you square that with not believing in something that obviously clearly was in existence? First of all, corrupt? first of all, all yours. Yeah. First of all, you told me the name in English, gospel, or yeah. in whatever whatever yeah. language. India. Yeah. It's not in Arabic. First of all, what the book mean, sorry? the book Allah gave to Prophet Jesus, mm -hmm. and as I said before, yeah, I've yeah, got yeah. eleven over ten reasons. The book that Christians have, which is the Bible, and the one Allah approved in the Quran, which is in Jil, are not similar even. And as I so said, I want again, to understand. This is a very important thing yes. you're saying. Could you say it again? Yes. The word in the Arabic was used. The word you in, you in Jil is not found in Arabic gospel. And as I said to you, mm. many reasons the book you have now from the Bible and mm. from the Quran, or both books confirms and affirms those books were corrupted, mostly specifically the Bible. And the reason I'm saying is... When you say Bible, do you mean the Torah or the Injil? The Injil specific, the In Bible, the Bible is specific, not Injil. We Muslims do not yeah. believe the Bible is called Injil. No, you believe the Gospel is called the Injil? No, no, we don't believe that. You don't believe the Injil no, is the Gospel? No, we don't believe that. No, we it's don't believe that. The no, we believe Gospel, but we believe it's Injil. Gospel, yeah. as I said... Do you know what Gospel means? That, yeah, good news. You yeah, believe it's good news. Yeah. Anyways, but Injil, let me give you one verse. I'll give you all the verses to refute the Bible is not the same as Injil, the one Allah has approved when you in say the Quran. Bible, the, the interchange is important that we differentiate between the Torah and the Injil because the Injil are the books that the Christians are required to believe in and the Torah are the books of the Old Testament. Yeah. Okay, let me come to the point. Yeah. If I call this book Injil mm. and you got another book, you call it Bible, but you believe this Bible also is called Injil, it ha the context is more important. So the context of Injil is not the Bible. Do, do we need to get that oh, point let me, let me Tell me if I understand it. What yes. you're saying is, when Allah uses the word Injil, he doesn't yes. mean your modern day Bible. No. The Old Testament and the Psalms and all of those things. No. no. When he says the Injil, he's specifically Injil. Can we just say the, the Injil, the etymology of, of Injil, is found in the Islamic text and now used by Muslims or not. Can I just say this? Okay. Uh, it's derived from the Syriac Aramaic word Awangalion, found in the Peshitta Syriac translation of the Bible, which in turn derives from the Greek. Evangelion okay. is the Greek root that Injil okay. comes I'll from. I'll give him the reference yeah, from yeah, the Quran. Yeah. So okay. Do you want to talk? Okay, let him talk to you. Yeah, yeah. What a calamity. Very quickly. Yeah. So in Matthew 423, Matthew 423, Jesus was going throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel mm. of the kingdom. The yeah. gospel. Yeah. In Jean. Mm. Singular, mm. not Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, or the 27 books of the Bible. You will find everything he said in the gospel. Bear with me. So yes. in the New Testament, according to Matthew, mm. it states that he is preaching the gospel. Yes. In the Quran, it Jesus. says that mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. gave him understanding of the Torah mm. and gave him the Injil. Gave him the Injil. Gave Jesus. Bear with me. That's what I'm saying. Bear with me. Gave him the Injil. 
Okay, so the New Testament records Jesus preaching the gospel. Singular. The Quran talks about Allah giving Jesus one book. Upon him. One the Injil. One book. Injil. Singular. One book. Right. Bear with me. Okay, with okay. Me. When we look at the He's Christian. Building. When, okay. Sorry, when sorry. we look at the I'm Christian. I'm excited. When we, <laughs> let me talk to you. I when am, we, I'm looking when we look about when we look at the Christian scripture, we call the gospels. It, we call it the Bible. The gospels. Mm. Bear with me. The gospels. Not entirely true. It was rhetorical. Yeah. The gospels are. The Gospels according to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Yes. Four Gospels. No, you just, no, the Gospels me. according bear, to... Bear with me. The, no, the Gospels... You just said something. No, no, you can. No, no, you no, said no, the no, Gospels no, Matthew, no, according to Matthew, can, Mark and Luke and John. I, what we should be saying is can the Gospel I, singular can according can I, to can Matthew, I, Mark, Luke and John. I, Continue. I, no. A matter of the fact is there are four canonical Gospels. Plural. So there are four Gospels according to Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and then you've got other writings and these writings constitute 27 books of the New Testament. Mm. We can see remnants within Matthew where Jesus preached the singular Gospel. Mm. We look in the Quran where Allah gave Jesus in what? The Gospel. No, four Gospels. When we, when we look at the, the New Testament today, yeah, it's called... It. Yeah, it. yeah, because when we, Christians... When we, when, we look at, when we look... You're not preaching there. Well, look, one more minute, I think you've been back. When we, <laughs> yeah, no, when we look... At the Bible, the Bible is a compilation of what? Books, plural. How many books? Thank you. How many books? Many Twen books. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven together. And within these twenty-seven are how many gospels? Four. Four. That's what I've got to say. Okay. Okay. Can Again, I, can I respond to you? I'm giving you no. I'm giving another verse similar to this one in the pass, Bible. Brother, pass no, I'm just back. giving you one verse. Yeah, no, no, yeah. pass back. The no, same no, one. I tell you what. You say what you. If you if you've got something to add to what you said before yeah. I respond, please do. Yeah. Okay. Have you, are you? Do you want to say something? No, you can okay. say. My, my response to my friend here is, right, when we say Jesus preached the gospel, according to the Christians who actually recorded the New Testament, the New Testament church, essentially, if you were to open up a red letter Bible, you will see every single word of Jesus written down and confirmed. Every time in the four Gospels, the Gospel according to Matthew, the Gospel according to Mark, Luke and John, meaning there was one Gospel, meaning the Good News, if we look in all of those, in those four books, and we pull out all the red letters of Jesus Christ, okay, those would be the Gospel according to the Christians. So for me, if I wanted to know what the Gospel was, I would go and ask the community he established called the Church, and I would ask them, what do you believe the Gospel was? Because it predates Islam by 600 years. So I would not use for my exegetical model the Islam to look at uh, uh, Judaism and Christianity. I would first go to Ju the Jews and the Christians and find out historically how they understood their own writings. So much, yeah, so okay. much as, so much, but I think we're mission creeping from our original conversation that we were having, no. as, as in my original statement, which is yeah, quite a simple one. Why yeah. would Allah ask you to believe in some books you also believe were corrupt at the same time? Again, I told you, the book Allah is asking us in yeah. Jil yeah. to believe it is not the Bible. You know what? This I give you many verses. For sure, for sure. Like example now, chapter 5, verse 47, yeah. Allah said in Jil, that book, was there Jesus time was there Jesus time yeah. and Jesus was preaching the book that was given by Allah I want to understand right yeah. you're saying yeah at the time of Jesus ministry which would be the last three years of his life yes he was preaching a book that God inspired in his head in his heart yes that was he given to... was given Are you talking about physically given yes who wrote those things that were physically given to him those book came from Allah. The author of that book How did is Allah. they become physical? The book existed Jesus' time. It's like Quran, we believe, is like Quran, see, physical. See, historically, would you, would, my friend, would you agree with my friend here? He said that the, that G, Isa yes. was given a physically book. Yes, a book, a book like Torah, Injil Torah. During his ministry here on earth. Yes, would you agree with he that? was given, yes, a book. Given in a Islam. physical book. Yes. Like this. Yes. He had a physical book. Would yes. you agree with that? In, in Islam, yes. Oh, do you agree with that? Allah no, in Islam, yes. No, in Islam, I'm giving you the verse. 
kitab is fil uh, Yes, a book. He was given a book. That book came okay. down from Allah. Because Allah said, Bima anzal Allah. He used same as the Quran. Well, who reveals the Quran? Allah. And who's the author of Quran? Allah. The author of Injil is see Allah. How you're taking that literally, but historically that yeah. can't have been now, the case. No, I'm using your, my Quran. I'm using the Quran because you are using the Quran yeah. to justify your points. Okay, so, so I'm you're, using. You're, you're more than one. Uh, yeah, I'm using the Quran hmm. to disapprove. The Bible is not the book that was given to Jesus. Okay. Just so I don't misrepresent you yes. or I don't lie. I mean, it's very important that when we use, when we, when, uh -huh. so I need clarification. You know how I, you. I say, you I know why I say, let me give you one advice in the Quran. Allah okay, said, What does that say? We give Jesus in Jeel, the book in Jeel. Okay, and and and, and, and the also he said, the word what? book actually means scripture. Huh? Actually means yes, scripture. the same as the Quran. Do you understand now? I can see how you can make a case out of that, but Muslims yes. don't believe it. No, we believe that. The book that was given to Jesus is I not Bible. I think the Bible the was written... Of, the majority of Muslims would yeah. understand that as the inspiration, as in it was given to... No, it no, was transmitted that book, to the Jesus author, mentally in his, in his mind. Let me give you an example. Do you, see, do you see... Let me tell you the difference Bible and Injil. Let me tell you. The Bible, there is no single verse in the Bible where God talks straight forward in the Bible. Where God actually talks? Like yes, in, in the, the Bible. Testament. No, in New Testament. In the New Testament? Yes. So okay, New yeah. Testament cannot be the God's Injil, because Injil, Allah is the one who is speaking. Okay, let's assume the author correct. is Allah. Let's follow this through. Yeah. If we assume yeah. that my, my Muslim brother here yeah. is correct, and when he says yeah. that Jesus, yeah. the Messiah, yeah. was in possession yeah. with a physical book, yes. like a scroll or a parchment. Yes. And that book and was, that was revealed book by Allah. When he preached the gospel, he would have read from the book he was given by God. Yes, that's why in the Bible even it says right. Jesus had a book, was indicating an object. In chapter and it was uncorrupt. Let me give you a yes. book that Jesus had. Yes, that uncorrupt. book now we don't have it. Was there only one copy? Yes, one copy from Allah. The author of that book is Allah. And it's lost. It's lost. But the Christians, they took that book and edited, corrupted, and bought lots of things. And they said, this is the one Allah exactly was talking about. The reason we are saying the Injil is not the Bible. Let me give you now an example. Yeah, go on. Allah said, Bima Anzal. Do you know the word Anzal means came from, came down? Okay, yes, yes, so yes. Allah said, also use the word Quran. When Allah was talking about the Quran, He said, He is the one who reveals, who revealed above yes. from above allah yes. has sent down the quran physically not the book right he gave the message to angel jibril yes so those words what have been reciting yeah. Yeah. this book this yeah. book jesus had yeah. we don't know who wrote, when was written but jesus time had a book right you agree with jesus me? it's like moses let me give it it's like moses yeah the message of the quran the author is allah same as the Quran, the author of Injil, the message who was passing the Injil, those messages from Allah, was Angel Jibril. He used to bring the revelation to prophets, Moses and Jesus. So Jesus, we don't know who wrote his book, but his time, he had a book. Yes, a copy of that book. We don't know when it was okay. written, but the, Jesus' time the, had a book. The only problem, perhaps, with that presentation is this. Yes. That according to Christians, and you can't separate the Christians from their scriptures, especially the earliest ones, yeah. is that historically, yeah. they were the witnesses of Jesus Christ, who was the subject of the gospel. Uh -huh. They always believed it, that when we talk about gospel, this is about the Christ message, which involves not just the things Jesus said, yeah. the things that Jesus did also, yeah. as recorded by the earliest witnesses. Yeah. Now, it's impossible for that to dovetail with your explanation that Jesus actually came with a physical book that he then shared which was the gospel because if that was the case yeah. I would need to ask you what was in that book that he had that you accept and yes. also the community of people the very earliest Christians which yeah. you would say were the true Christians yeah. do their writings also affirm the thing that you're about to say That's because what I would need to know. all I'm saying he, even in the Bible in chapter in the book the gospel of um, the gospel of matthew chapter 24 chapter 24 
chapter 24, I think chapter 24, verse 14, I think, verse, chapter 24, verse 14, I think, I'm not sure, it's the other way around, I think sure, so. Sure, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Jesus was saying this gospel, this, we know the word this means what. He was pointing an object, he said this gospel, this gospel, gospel will be preached this gospel what makes you think it was physically in his hand because that according to islam the jesus, jesus he was given a book the order of that book is allah same as quran the quran allah gave it to andrew jibril to teach prophet muhammad and prophet muhammad's companion were written down for sure, for sure. the quran and, 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 so same yeah. as this applies okay, also so to the book of injil that, that verse yes actually confirming what you previously said about it being a physically book yes because he says see this gospel yes and you're saying will be preached top of it. yes unfortunately yeah. the earliest writings of the christians yes. which predate the final canon of the Bible, yeah. they actually affirm that the gospel was preached by Jesus Christ. Yeah. Preached mean it was spoken. Then yeah. it was only written down after it was spoken. This is the historically understood uh, acceptance of the people of the book, the earliest Christians. None of them, there is no evidence from any early Christian source that Jesus Christ some... ever had a physical gospel in his hand. Were he ever it lifted it up. None of what you said yeah. can be historically verified. No, historic. I'm not using historically. I'm this using the Bible. I'm using the Bible. No, which one comes first? Me, if you ask me myself, yeah. historical, history, yeah. or my Quran, I believe Quran over you know history. This is a really important point. So, so Christians, egg, which the, came yeah. first? Let's no. see. The church came before the Bible. The Bible are the writings of the church. This is historically what Christianity was. No. Not the other way around. It wasn't a book that then made a community. What I'm saying, That's what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, I rely on the Quran and the teaching of prophet instead of history. Because Christians sometimes they believe history over their Bible. Sometimes they believe scientists over their Bible. Sometimes they believe scientists over the Quran. Okay, so it's sorry. contradiction. So now, clearly, but let me make it clear for you. Yeah, I want to understand. The book now Christians have, mm. and Christians are not the followers of Jesus, because even according to Islam, Jesus. according to Islam, the book that was given to Jesus, it was written in his mother language. In his ma yes, according to you. So sorry, yeah. say that again. You, every prophet in the Quran, right. chapter thirteen. Not Greek. No, not Greek. According to Quran. Chapter okay. 3, let me give you, okay, according you to Quran, to me, chapter okay. 3, yes. chapter 13, verse 4, Allah is telling us every prophet was sent in his mother language, okay. in his people's language. So when we come to cross, Jesus' language was not Greek language. Okay. It wasn't Greek language. Okay, can I, can, so now can another I, can point I'm making, Bible cannot be the book which Allah approved. Because it's in Greek. Yes. And that book, Allah said in chapter 3, verse 14, and that book was for only the children of Israel. Can, can I respond? Can yeah. I respond? And then we'll kind of wrap it up because you've probably okay. got lots more other conversations you okay. want to have. Right. Historically, this yeah. is what even non Christian uh, experts in history, they're, they're just a historical timeline as this in Christianity. Yeah. There was a man called Jesus Christ. Bear with me, I'm not going to go over everything I've said before. Uh -huh. And uh, he called together followers who were the witnesses to the things Jesus said and the things Jesus did. And, then, and my friend's right, he spoke in Aramaic. Aramaic yes. was the common tongue. However, the written language at the time in Judea was Greek because the Greek diaspora uh, under Ptolemy, the Greek language when it comes to writing in the whole of the classical ancient world was Greek because it was the language that could be spread around the known world. If it kept just in Aramaic, and all it would do would just, just be a language that no one else would understand. So can I just say this? So we've got categorically in Geo, root comes from the Greek, not from the Aramaic. It's from Greek through Aramaic to is is Islam in Injil. So unfortunately, even though my friend makes a makes a you know a, a passionate case, when it comes to the Injil, I'm I'm still totally unconvinced 
the, the, that Jesus, first of all, had physically a book given yes. to him by God. Yes. And I also, the author is God and I also am unconvinced that Allah would ask anyone to believe in something that was corrupt at the time he said believe in it. But after that, That's I just thought that. No, I just said clearly okay. from the Quran. So, one thing now, let me ask you one yeah, thing. You, okay, do you believe Jesus is the way and the truth? I do. And the Thank life. you. Okay. Jesus is the way and the truth. All prophets same are the way and the truth. Otherwise, God would, would not send those prophets to their people to guide them. Understand? Not only Jesus is the way and the truth. Also, before Jesus, prophets, previous prophets, were the way and the truth to their people. But they weren't the life as okay. well. It says the way, the okay. truth, and the, the okay. full, the let full me, verse. Let me come the to the verse. point. Christians, they put claim they are called I'll Christ. I'll put this away so you know I'm not okay. pulling anything out Okay. Oh, you yeah. dropped it. You okay. dropped it. So, let me finish you with one point. Yeah, sure. If Jesus is the way and the truth and you believe so, and the life, and the life you believe so, mm. tell me any any reason, valid reason, mm. you would claim to be the follower of Jesus. One question I'm asking. Why Did Jesus, I would claim yeah, why would you claim you to be the follower of Jesus when Jesus never practice Christianity or never worship tri trying God. Okay, okay, my, we can have a longer discussion can I come, on the Trinity. Can, can I come and pray? Is it prayer? Yeah, no, you... you uh, what is it time? Yeah, because you've I don't got want the to first the things, otherwise yeah, it's I not going to go well pray. for you. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just now. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just well, now. All, all I'll say just very quickly in answer to that is the Jews believed in God the Father and God the Spirit and the Christians believed that Jesus Christ was God, the New Testament Christians. You put the three together and you've got the subjects of the Trinity found in the early creeds, especially the Nicene Creed. You're Thank not you. getting, you're not getting the point. Answer, no, no, you're answer. not getting the point. Jesus, you better go. You better go. Look, actually, if Jesus you break away now, the there'll be merit yeah, in it just, for you. Are you, you here? Are you going to be here? Away. No, I'm just time now. Hey, it's four o'clock. I'm enjoying the conversation. What's your name again? Siraj. Siraj, it's Colin. Yeah. Siraj, have but a good what prayer. I'm asking, have a good prayer. What I'm saying, Jesus did not worship the Holy Spirit. No, he, he, not, didn't. he did not worship himself, As a but man, he worshiped he God the As Father. A man, he no, he never worshiped the Holy Spirit. I can give you the verse from the Bible. So why are you okay, not worshiping yeah. the God the Father, which Jesus worshiped him alone? Okay, okay. I mean, See, I'd, I'd really like you to... You cannot I'd prove really it to me that you're the follower of Jesus. Because, because, because you are worshiping Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God the Father. But Jesus, Jesus only worshiped yeah. God the Father. The early Christians believed Jesus was true God and true man. That's no, the only no, way to understand no, no, that. No, no. We can have a good conversation no, no. on that. We'll I will come to you. I will come to you. You believe Jesus is the way and the truth. Forget about Christians. True God, true man. I want to... I'll come to you. That's yours. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. We're finished. Now we're done. Yeah, I'm going to pray. Yeah, we're all So I'm saying, you can read John chapter 4, verse 22, 23. Yeah. Jesus said, we worship what we know. He said the true worshippers will worship God the Father. God true worshippers do not worship the Holy Spirit, not Jesus himself. So if you believe Jesus is the way and the truth, the problem please is, the problem worship is, God the Father alone. The Forget about the Holy yeah, Spirit All, all the apostles himself. were Jews. They believed in God the Father and Wait, the God yeah. the Spirit. Do you know and then what they Jesus believed said? Do you know what Jesus said? No, no, no. Is, no, no. That's true. Do you know what Jesus said? Yeah. Jesus himself We can't it. stop ourselves. Do your prayer, man. Let me give you. Do your prayer. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, a master. Let me give you one thing. God's not going to be Okay, one thing. Give it as an offering. No, we I'm can going, pick it up I'm again. Going. We'll pick it up again. Save it. Save it. It's going to be good. Okay. Ask for God's blessing. Last one. Last one. Last moment. This is what the park does Last to moment. you, man. Last moment. Jesus said, disciples are not greater than their master. So the master is Jesus. Do not tell me what Christians say. Do not tell me what disciples say. I want what Jesus said. Jesus said, I'm going to my God and your God. He never said, I'm your God. He's denying to be your God. By saying, I'm going to you, my God he and your God. Me, the no, also. He also he said, No one has seen, ever seen God. He said, No one has ever seen God. We can have God. another conversation on the Trinity. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray.